Okay, how many of you have been more hurt like ever? <laughs> so that's gonna come in handy later. We're gonna play a little game and see how much y'all really know. <laughs> she has fragrance, she has skincare, she has color and lips, all types of fun stuff. It's a super casual environment, so like if you're like, oh my god, I love that, please shout it out. Like I sure I surely will. Grab food, whatever you guys need, so that you know, okay? Um, when we do wrap, this area is for you guys to shop. I put on the paper about how to earn even more gifts. So I have a ton of stuff that I want y'all to have. You can come back with me. Okay, so we'll talk more about that later. We're going to hop right in, okay? All right, Miss Marie, definitely. Woo! <laughs> That's our nervous <laughs>
I obviously made it back home. I'm in my infamous little spot right on my bed, ready to chill. I'm about to actually go on my story, right, or on my Instagram and post on my story everything from throughout the day. My phone was everywhere throughout the day. We were on Instagram Live. We were doing like all kinds of stuff, taking pictures. By the time we finished, my phone was literally at 5%. So I was like, and I was doing the music. So it was like a lot. My phone took a beating today, but, um, I made it home and my heart is so, so, so full. It was my first ever meetup, which those of you who have been watching, you've known that I've been wanting to do something like this for so long. It was a long time coming and how it went was exactly how I would have wanted my first meetup to go. It was small. Oh, sorry. Let me want this going off throughout the whole conversation hold on um it was very very intimate which i said from the beginning like when i first put the rsvps out i was like this is going to be a very small intimate event it's not going to be like overly crowded it's not going to be a long line it's not going to be any of that i wanted this to be very one-on-one -on -one, minimal um a lot of interaction me actually mingling taking photos and talking to you guys i did not want my first meetup to be a meetup where it was like free for all which i actually want to have a meetup like that where i just set a date and then you maybe you do or you don't have to rsvp and it's open to everybody you can bring plus ones as many people can come i want to have one like that but for my first meetup i wanted to do something where it was a minimum amount of people and i can actually mingle and talk to you guys without rushing i didn't want it to be a quick photo and then next person quick photo next person quick photo next person that's not really um the way i picture myself meeting you guys or some of you guys for the first time i wanted to you know talk to you guys and get to know you guys more and where you're coming from and your story and you know all of that stuff and it's crazy because from the people that were there like I feel like I relate to you guys and you guys that were there were telling me like I feel like I relate to you so much like that's why I follow you and being there and seeing you guys and even seeing how much you guys know me and about me I feel like all of us there got along we were all like we're all friends like it was so perfect there's no other way I would have wanted it I didn't want it to be overflowing with people because for me it would have been overwhelming first off because it's my first meetup um I didn't know how it was gonna go I didn't even plan like what I was gonna say it was very just show up we're gonna chat let's get this going and I didn't want to feel overwhelmed and nervous and like it was too much and it definitely did not feel that way it felt very natural I was nervous because it's normal but I, w I didn't feel rushed I didn't feel overwhelmed it wasn't too much for me not too many people in one place not overly crowded not anything um, second reason why is because a lot of you who went um, are exact I feel like are exactly like me when it comes to going to events or going to meet people or meeting new people in general um, it's very nerve-wracking and I get it like I go to beauty events uh, by myself sometimes and I'm there alone and it's a huge event there's so many people it's overwhelming there's so much going on there's games there's drinks there's product trying there's everybody walking around and it's a lot like picture taking everything and if you're by yourself it can feel like too much um you might just want to get there do what you gotta do leave you're shy you don't talk to people so i'm that way i get it and i know what it feels like so i did not want anybody to feel that way for my first meetup because i know the feeling i wanted it to be something where you were able to mingle with the other girls there a lot of the girls that were there went alone so a lot of people conversated, met new people, and that is exactly what I think these events should be like, um, where you get to just talk to people and try stuff on and talk to me, like have a genuine full-on conversation and not just rush to take a picture and then that's it. It's not personal, it's not intimate, it's not one-on-one, -on -one, It's then that's what I wanted for my first meetup and that's exactly what Maya, the coordinator, 
made happen for me she gave me like the maximum amount of space um and a maximum amount of people that would fit and i didn't even bring it up to that max point because i didn't want it to be like i said i didn't want it to be too much and i think the amount of people that went and everything it was just it was perfect we did goodie bags we did raffles it was so crazy first of all just being able to put a face to your instagram names because i talk to you guys in like my dms and stuff and being able to actually see you guys in person is like so cool and getting to talk to you guys and then just how much you guys know about me is crazy like they were um maya did a few like rapid questions where she was like um where did sabrina and darius meet and then she was like what's sabrina's favorite starbucks drink and she was raffling off like starbucks gift cards and like free products like little samples stuff like that and i just thought it was so cool just sitting there like that you guys know me and like we know each other on a personal level and it's just it's crazy um i feel like i'm rambling at this point but if you're watching this and you went to my meetup thank you so much for coming it was amazing to get to meet you and i even got a cute little gift oh it's in the truck I'm gonna go get it and I'm gonna show it to you guys. I got this really sweet, 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 sweet gift from one of my subscribers that went to my meetup. Her name is Yuri. She gave me a Starbucks cup. You guys know I love Starbucks and now I have like a cute little tumbler. This is like a really cute design. And then she also gave me two huge bags of Hot Cheetos. You guys know I love Hot Cheetos. A TJ Mac gift card like what and then she also gave me a card which i already read but i'm obviously not gonna read it because it's very it's cute and personal but that was so sweet thank you so so much again you did not have to but i appreciate it and i'm about i'm i'm literally about to go use this tj maxx gift card tomorrow so sweet so so sweet and all of you guys were so nice and gorgeous first of all and i just I loved it I don't like I don't think I would have done it any other way I can't wait to have more events like that it was so refreshing and it was so like I'm sitting here and I feel even more motivated to film the next video and to keep doing what I do just being able to talk to you guys because I see you guys I see the numbers I see okay 200k 210 220 30 and i see the numbers go up but it's way different getting to meet you guys in person and actually interacting with you face to face i just had an amazing time we were lip singing together we were dancing towards the end of the day and we spent hours together hours it was not a 10 minute picture it was it was nothing like that it was literally we spent time together we hung out beyond four hours i think we went past like the the four hour mark because we were there for we were supposed to be there from two to six but it was very free for all like we were just there chilling talking we had a few little snacks some water like talking about my favorite products and some of you guys even shop some of my favorites which i cannot wait to hear what you guys think I think a lot of people picked up like Give Me Sun, my bronzer that I was wearing today, the blush, lip color, stripped down from MAC. Like, I basically, this is what it was. It was basically a little pop-up shop where we had like a few little stands that had some of my current favorites. And then we had a try-on station where you guys were able to try stuff on, anything that I was wearing on my face. We did two live Q&As. We did one just for everybody that was there. And then we hopped on Instagram Live and we did um, pull questions from there as well at the end. And then we also did the raffles, the games. And what else did we do? Oh, and then I sat there and talked about basically my product breakdown, everything I was wearing on my face, my favorites, why I like them. It was pretty quick. It wasn't, I tried not to make it like too chatty. Um, and I wanted to be a little bit more focused on like the Q&A and stuff like that. But I got such great feedback from those of you who did go. You guys said you liked the fact that it was like small and you were able to mingle, meet new people, talk to me on a personal level. And like I said, I really liked it. I can't wait to, again, have another meetup. Um, after having this, I feel like, okay, this is 
me and my cousins were like talking we're like this is definitely doable we can do this again and each time we can make it like a little bit bigger a little bit bigger once you're comfortable you can have like a free-for-all kind of meetup so i can't wait to do more of them and it was just i don't know it was it's hard to explain like it's so nice being able to meet the people who have been there for a while even if the, even if you're like a new subscriber and you got to go to the meetup like just meeting any of you whether you've been there for years or whether you're a little bit newer like just the fact that you're supporting my channel and what i do and everything is so incredibly incredibly surreal i just i love you guys so much and i love being able to like hug you guys and i don't know i just I loved it and I had an amazing time and I can't wait to do it again and yeah everybody was so down to earth and my vibe and you guys like the the playlist that I had going on and everything I just I loved it I loved it I loved it I loved it and I would not have I wouldn't have made it any other way so again thank you everybody who came um, hopefully if you didn't get to attend you'll be able to attend next time I'm gonna finally hop on my Instagram and start posting some of this stuff from today but I hope you enjoyed this little vlog it was more like little snippets I think of just what was going on my camera was kind of like everywhere throughout the day I didn't get to really be hands-on with my camera because obviously I wanted to be in the moment but um, I think we got a pretty good amount of footage hopefully we did you got to get a little glimpse of what it was like and stuff like that but um thank you so much for watching and i love you guys los quiero mucho and i will see you all in my next video